So the first transition I want to talk about and I want to use in this video, it's how to create a mask transition. So if we move around here, I don't know if you remember this clip. How you spend your time taking advantage of each and every moment. Well, it needs to be adjusted. It used to be like this. Each and every moment. It is a very hard transition right now. And every moment. You can totally see where one clip ends and the other one begins. Now, by adding a mask, we can make this a little bit smoother, right? So I'm going to extend this clip, first of all, just a little bit more. Because the mask that I will add, it will be around here. So when the right arm of this character, of Alan's friend, goes into frame, we will wipe. So we will mask all this with the arm and wipe it into the next clip. So in order to do this mask, we're going to have to go into a different tab that we haven't explored yet. That is the color tab. Now we haven't done color correction yet and I haven't explained the color tab yet. We will do that when the edit is completed and we are completely done and then we go into color. So we are going to go into the color tab down here with the clip that we want to edit selected. And now the first thing we have to do is right click here and add alpha output. Once you do that, you're going to see this dot appearing and then we're going to connect this to the dot. This is very important. If you don't do this, you won't be able to create the mask. And the next thing we are going to do is see here we have the color wheels. We don't want this tab. We're going to go into this one, the window one. Let's click on here and we're going to be using this tool right here that allows us to draw the mask. Enable here, very important that you click in here too. And now what I'm going to do is, because this is very small, I'm going to click up here so I get all this room. So what we're going to do here is, I'm going to mask this part, this line right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the frame that this starts, I would say here and what I'm going to do now is you have to enable the keyframing and to do that you're going to go down here under corrector and click into this little frame and now you are enabling the keyframes right another thing that I want to do is start drawing now now at the beginning I'm just going to like draw something very simple something like this then we can modify no problem it's gonna put it like that and you can see here we can already see the other shot right but this is very very sharp like it's gonna look we need to add some feather here so under softness we can you can try you can try 10 for example 10 seems to be pretty good but maybe I want a little bit more you know what I'm gonna add 18 to make it a little bit more soft. And now what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to move frame by frame and set the keyframes. So I'm gonna press one time to the right and move the mask right here. If you need to have more space, you just click in here, put it to 50%, for example. And you can also modify this. And you can make this window as big as you want. We now have to set up these keyframes frame by frame. So I'm going to go another one to the right. And I'm going to move this here. Another one to the right. And I'm going to keep moving it. Keep moving it. Just going to move this a little bit here. Another one. Another one until the end. So remember to go back to the beginning and then go one frame to the left and make sure the mask 
clears out completely. So this would be how it plays. All right, so now we have the mask created. All the keyframes are here. And now if we go back to the edit, you're gonna see that now the mask is there. In every moment. Let me just play it for you. Oh. Sin. Taking advantage of each and every moment. Looks pretty good. I think it needs a little bit more work just because the color of the blazers it's a little bit different, but what I can do here, I can adjust this clip accordingly. So if I press T, I can move it a little bit. Let me see, this way. Moment. And that kind of works for me. Let's just see it a little bit bigger. Taking advantage of each and every moment. Yeah, that works for me. So this is how you create a mask transition. Remember to go into the color tab because that's where you can create the mask from. So as you can see, this is a very subtle transition. Like no one would ever see this video and be like, oh, this is a crazy transition or think that this is a video about transitions or anything like that. It's something very subtle. And my intentions when adding transitions it's for the viewers to not really notice there is a transition. It has to be very subtle, right? Also, this client is a luxury brand, and I didn't want it to make this video about like cool transitions for like young people that like this kind of stuff. So let's see it again. How you spend? Sorry, let's make it a little bit bigger. Is it how you spend your time, taking advantage of each and every moment? It's very seamless looks really good okay so this is how you create a mass transition